Just in time for the opening of the Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron movie, USA Walmart stores received these dump bins. Since most of the cars work on the track, I'm going to go ahead and send them through some uh, loops and see which ones work. The orange loop is going to be gravity fed, and the silver loop is going to be fed by a booster. At Walmart, you can find these dump bins almost anywhere. There's the Hot Wheels aisle. I don't know why they put them on the other side of the bikes. Why don't they just put them with the Hot Wheels? Typical of these releases, get some fantastic card art. Number one, Nick Fury gets Ultra Rage. Number two, Captain America gets Power Rage. Number three, Hawkeye, he gets Growler. Number four, Hulk, he gets Rockster. Number five, Vision has Muscle Tone. Number six, Iron Man has Stingrod. Number seven, Thor gets Buzz Bomb. Number eight is Black Widow. She gets 16 angels. Up first, here's Ultra Rage for Nick Fury. Fantastic car for the boosters, loops, and curves. Yeah, I'm glad to see this model come back. And I'm sure you guys heard in other videos, I have trouble with the name of this one. I get Ultra Rage and Power Rage confused, but that's just me. Let's go ahead and test them out on the loop. Remember, first loop is gravity fed, and then the second one is this booster. Come on, Nick. All the way. Those of you who know me know that this is the one I want. Red, white, and blue. Here we have Captain America. He gets Power Rage. Glad to see it's red, white, and blue on the whole car. I don't see any black. I don't see any yellow. Just red, white, and blue. Sometimes when Mattel releases red, white, and blue releases, they... Uh, Sometimes they have another color in there. But let's get up on the track. Let's see if he can do just as good as uh, Nick Fury. Boom. Awesome. Hawkeye gets Growler. In, in the, in the, it's just black and purple. If you, if you see white, that's just reflection from my lights. The only white is on the hood, the little Avenger logo. Otherwise, the only things I see is black and purple. And fans of Growler, you know that he, they call him Growler, because he, look at his front. He's got those, uh, he's got those teeth. They're kind of lopsided too. He's got one fang. He's got one tooth coming up the top. Let's see how he does. Coming down the loop. There you go. Three for three so far. Up, up next, number four, the Hulk. While these are nice to collect for the card art, you know, you know I'm a loose car collector, but the card art's very nice on these. Something else that's just kind of interesting, it has a really, a really odd blister as an indentation right here, just in the front. And I know you guys are thinking, well, who cares? No, but when you buy a lot of Hot Wheels and you collect a lot of Hot Wheels, this is a really strange shaped blister. I don't, I don't recall seeing this blister before. But let's go ahead and give him a turn. Now, maybe you guys have had Rockster. He was released earlier this year or 2014. I forgot, 2014 or 2015. Maybe you have this version right here. I'm not going to do this with every car in this set, but Rockster used to have a metal roof. All this part was all one piece. Look, there he's got some, uh, some skis on top. Well, that metal roof has been changed to plastic. You can see the difference in color between the dark green and the light green. So that whole roof section is now plastic. Let's go ahead and uh, give them a spin there. I don't even remember if he fits on the track, let alone being able to make it through the loops. But hey, that's the fun of testing cars. See who can make it through the loops and who can't. You ready, Hulk? You ready to get angry? Go! Hey, he made it through the loop. He fit on the track and he made it through the loop. Let's give him one more try in the booster. To be honest, I'm happy he made it through the loop. I'm happy he fit on the track. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm impressed, sir. Number five, muscle tone. 
He's also been in the lineup recently. Maybe you got this baseball version. And if you like muscle tone, maybe you want to pick this one up as well. Now in the USA, I found at Walmart stores in that dump in that I showed you. And it might not be in the toy car aisle. You might have to walk around the bicycles or somewhere over there. I don't know why they do that. But anyways, for sure, muscle tone is going to go through the uh, boosters and the loops and the curves. Unless he nicks a part of the track, I'm not. I think he'll do uh, very well. He's been around for a long time. Nice to see him back. Oh, you know what? Maybe I got a pinch and flare my track. Since Hulk happened to crash right here, maybe this wasn't fair for Hulk either. Okay, Hulk, you you get another shot. Here comes Hulk. Nope. Muscle tone. He barely made it. Iron Man gets Sting Rod, gets wild graphics, and on the roof you can see his Iron Man logo, his uh, helmet logo. Love to see this model out. Haven't seen him in a while. Maybe you got Sting Rod too. He was in the stores 2014, 2015, I forget. It's, it all blurred together, sorry. He had movable rockets on top or projectiles. The original Sting Rod had uh, projectiles as well. Hey look, there's a rubber band. Let me get that rubber band off of there. I found out why the rubber band was on there is because this actually can pop out as a plastic frame and then plastic rockets. So this easily opens up and the, the rockets can come out. So make sure you don't lose your uh, rocket projectiles. Stingrod 2, excuse me, it's time for Stingrod. He has not been in stores for several years, so it's great to see him out again. If you're a newer collector, you probably don't even have a sample of this. Now's your chance to get a sample of the original Stingrod. And look how big he is. I don't know. If any, I was surprised that Rockster made it. I do not have high hopes for Stingrod. Say it! Well, he fits. So that means he's going to make it through the loop, but I don't know about the booster. Go! Bonk. One more time. Made it through the loop, though. Oh, I guess he's too wide for the curves over there. Thank you. Well, we have to put you on the inside because I think the winners are on the outside. Thor gets buzz bomb. I love this car because his wings come up. Check it out. Look, he's called buzz bomb because look, he's got wings like a, a bee. He can fly around. I'll leave one up and I'll leave the other one down so you can see how it looks like in the engine as it comes around. When this one first came out, it was black and yellow like a bumblebee. That was a few years ago. So I'm glad that Thor gets this model and we get to see it back out in the lineup for collectors. It's time to fly up and fly down. Sit. Go. Excuse me, muscle tone. You're in the way. Last but not least, Black Widow gets 16 angels. Beautiful, just beautiful. I'm talking about the car, 16 Angels. What are, what are you thinking about? When this one came out, it used to have a metal body and metal base. Now it's a, now they made it a plastic body and a metal base. Part of their cost cutting. If you haven't got a 16 Angels, now's your chance. Here we go, last up. Black Widow with 16 Angels. Oh, Black Widow, what happened? Let's flare my track. <clears throat> All right, I flared the track a little bit. All the way. If you're going to see the movie, have fun. And if you want the cars, I wish you happy collecting. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.